What? You want some? You don't want none. That's for the bunny. And your cage is destroyed, huh? Okay. What are you gonna do with it? Oh, he took it. Oh my goodness. Why? You guys see this? I showed you the other day, cleaning the cage. This is what it looks like about four hours after it's cleaned. Oh, dude. Why would you put it all right? Whatever. You can eat it right there. You gonna hang out with them? They're brothers. I was editing last night the video about the window film and uh, oh my gosh, that was hard to watch. So if you're ever gonna do it, uh, once you put your film on there, you make these two cuts, you know, you'd want your window up to about right, as high as you can get it. Make that cut and that cut and then you unstick it and position it to where it's like a sixteenth or an eighth below it. And then you do this side and, and the bottom and the front right here. Anyway, I noticed when I was doing it, I was like, I would do that cut and then half of that cut and then try to screw around with all this stuff and then forgot to like reposition it. And then I finally repositioned it and had to do it all over again and everything. Like <laughs> it was just brutal to watch, but I don't know. I guess if I did it every day, I'd be a little better at it, but um, let's see how they're looking. See if that part stayed down. Yeah, it stayed down. Got a little something under there. As all the moisture evaporates out of there, any like little bubbles or flaws you see do get smaller. So, not that there's a lot. I don't know. I'm happy with it. So, talking with Rodney again about the uh undercoating and it's been about two days he said his never dried and he wasn't in indiana it was louisiana it was at least it was i had the anna part right i'm in ona let me see uh, so i can scrape it off i mean i'm scraping original paint off too so it's like a brownish color and I noticed it was like a brown when it went on and then it dries with like a black finish but you barely touch it and you can see the brown underneath I think the finish is just not great but I don't know I mean it, the problem Rodney had was his didn't dry and this is definitely dry um, I was wiggling these zip ties back and forth trying to see if I could eat into the stuff and you can. I don't know if it cures any more than this, but I'm not, I don't know. I mean, the fact that it dried, I guess I'm not, if it hadn't dried, then yeah, I would be super concerned, but, and maybe they have uh, made their formula better since, um, he did his, sorry about my finger there. Anyway, I just kind of wanted to, before I do the front, before I do any more, I, I want to make sure this isn't a mistake. Um, one channel I, I like and really trust the guy, he's a really good mechanic, it's called uh, South Main Auto. And they're in the rust belt, he knows all about that stuff. Those guys are just phenomenal mechanics. Um, anyway. I forget what the name of the place is back east that does it, but they spray on an, a rubberized undercoating. It's a tar base, probably kind of like this. And they spray it on, and then to keep your warranty, every year you have to go back and get it reapplied. Well, the problem is when you go back, they just spray it right over the old stuff. They don't treat any like little, say you get like a chip like right here, and it starts to form rust. That rust just creeps underneath the undercoating because the undercoating traps the moisture. And then they cover it up, they spray it again the next year. And then the next year they spray it, and then so 10 years down the road, you can take a screwdriver and get underneath a chip and just like keep going and going and it's, it's the whole frame's like rotted out. And they also like on the bottom of these frames, the drain holes, they cover those up and then moisture gets in there and the whole bottom of the frame rails are rotted out. <laughs> so don't ever uh, do that. I, forget, I wish I could think of the name of the company, but you can look up uh, South Main Auto and look up like uh, 
rubber rubberized coating and like don't I think it says don't ever use rubberized coating or something but in this case um, I mean you can see it even if even if rocks were to hit it and stuff like that it's still better than nothing right I don't know I, I think I'm gonna pull the trigger and go ahead and you know obviously touch up this part but I just wanted to test it before I went any further and did the front. Damn it, Rodney, you got in my head. <laughs> I think, I was just thinking about it. I do a lot of thinking. Um, there's other stuff I can do right now and I think that wrap will be here any day if the company sent it this time. I'll probably wait on that, let it cure longer, maybe test it again and maybe strip it all back off and just on the chance that it's gonna like be bad <laughs> it, it wouldn't I mean I've only done this one little corner this inner fender well basically so I just you know I'm just trying to think if I pulled the trigger did the whole thing and then had an issue oh my god that would that would take forever to get it off and, and redo so I'll probably just move on to something else for right this minute and uh come back to that and probably gonna I can always return I've only started using one can I still have two more cans left I can I'm sure I have the receipt I can take these two back and trade them in for some actual bed liner because I know bed liner will hold up in the long run better oh man yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So let me I'll move on to something different then. I can still paint this front wheel and deal with the brake and stuff like that. And actually I, I do have spray on bed liner left, but I was gonna maybe save it for in here on the sides if I don't have enough once I do the floor. I should probably get back on that, so I don't know, we'll see. You guys wanna see something kinda cool? that I used to do almost every day of my life. These, these are my roommate's dykes, they're no good. Man. This string, this is a Cat6 cable, and this string inside there allows you to like pull it back. Anyways. And then there's this part you gotta get rid of. Get rid of the string, and then you don't need it to be that long. But if you've ever wondered how uh, they make network cables, I'll just show you real quick. These are all twisted at a different rate for the data flow. You can see like the blue one has a lot more twists in it than the brown one. Hopefully that's focusing. Come on, see the twist rate? Anyway, so you untwist them. And you do need a tool to do this, but I have the tool and the connectors, so I'll just show you. Come on, untwist. And then it's just a simple, uh, goes orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. And then you kind of stretch them, straighten them out, double check, blue, blue, green, brown, brown, yep, cut them, <laughs> these dikes are terrible, and then this is a pass-through connector, it's been a long time since I've done this, but Double check, orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown, good. And I actually bought this crimper after I quit my last job, just so I would have one. I don't think I like it. I don't know if I've ever used this. Sure doesn't like to uh, slide through there, there it goes finally. Anyway, it crimps it and cuts at the same time, so 
that's what you're left with. Anyway, if you guys have ever wondered, that's that's how you do it. I've been screwing around in the back here for a little while, but I've showed you guys plenty of that before. Um, and then I remembered this little dent. Oh man, I'm gonna have to fix that before that wrap goes on there. So I'm wondering if I can get. Oh yeah, there's a hole right there specifically made for me to get that dent out. Oh, that's nice. Check it out. Oh, I could see heating that up, maybe drilling a couple tiny little holes in there and then pounding it out. What do you guys think? I'm not a body guy, but I think I can get a dent most of the way out. Good enough for, you know, some Bondo or whatever. So crazy how oh, when this sits in the sun, you can just like by hand stretch this enough to get the button on. I literally did that one and it went on real easy. And then I did the one on the other side and then I did these two back buttons. So if I wanna drive it down to like circle K or whatever, the whole thing's not flopping around. <sighs> Got me out of breath a little bit, but I mean, I had to put some stuff into it, but I didn't need to get any like pliers or anything. So the sun really does stretch it out. And now it's time for some subliminal messaging. Just remembered, I never did check how strong this egg was. Feels pretty strong. I doubt it is. What should we do? Get the jack and put it in between the frame and the jack, maybe? Yeah, let's try that. Alright. There's a hole right here in the frame, for, like a drain hole. Should we do it upright or? On its side. I'm not sure what to expect here. If it even starts to lift this thing, I'll be really impressed. Come on, line it up. Okay. I heard a crack. I don't know if that was the wood or the egg. Probably the egg. Ready? Oh, maybe that was a hard boiled egg. Yeah, that didn't work with. That's probably gonna stink. Oh, it's super thin. Look at that. That is super thin. I thought it was a lot thicker than that. Well, that was pointless. Yeah. I'm gonna put it in a bag and then throw it away so it doesn't stink. It doesn't seem to stink though. But, yeah, I was. I'm actually surprised at how thin that was. I thought when you put on a layer, I mean... Pretty thin. I guess it was hanging, so a lot of that stuff was just running down and then dripping, but... I guess the thick part was right here at the bottom, and it's not even thick. Huh. Well... I guess we learned that the bed liner is not as thick as we think it is with one coat, or even two coats. Huh, okay. All right, so I just took a flap disc to it. You can see the dent. It's got like an upside down smiley face crease in it, which those are not easy to get out. Um, I'm gonna try something. There's about a 2% chance it'll work. Um, I bought this PDR kit years ago. It's got all these different glue tabs and stuff. And I even ordered some that were like better than what came in this cheapy kit. And I got this slide hammer that you can lock here. So how it works, um, these are different glue sticks, there's those, and these are like 20 bucks a bag, it's crazy. Um, but anyways, you got all these different glue tabs, I think I ordered these from a 
legit company, or maybe it was these. Can't remember. A lot of them are cheapies, but they're just tabs that you hot glue on and then yank on it to pull dents out. So if I can do this with my mouth, okay, so let me get one out. So you would cover this with hot glue and then you would smash it in there. This is obviously the wrong one. They have all different shapes and sizes for different dents, but you would smash it in there and then see the head of it that I'm pointing to right here? That, uh, you slide your deal in there and then dink, you slide this, it's a slide hammer. So the other thing you can do, you got one of these with the same kind of deal, the head, goes in here and then you would like squeeze this lever and it pulls it out anyways like I said because of the crease I, I have like a, a, almost a zero percent chance I think this will work but you know how I like to experiment and you guys like when I experiment right Anything else in here usable? I don't think so. These are cool. These little things, little pillows that you can pair up to pry, like uh, if you get locked out of your car, pry your window open. Anyway, the ones that came with the kit already crapped out. I had to order those like a couple years after I bought this kit. But I'm gonna either, oh, and then this glue gun. I bought this separate I think yeah I bought this separate so that I could use DeWalt either DeWalt or oh, let's see if the DeWalt batteries work on it I think it was DeWalt either DeWalt or Milwaukee I can't remember yeah okay so so with the adapter the hot glue gun can work with DeWalt batteries but I'll, I got an outlet right there so I'll probably just plug it in Wow, look how cheap this glue gun is. This is <laughs> this is the cord. It doesn't even have the holes in the thing. Yeah. I'm sure it's just a China kit. Yeah, okay, so my plug has seen better days. Go in there. Wow, it just slides in and out. Okay, let's see if the light comes on. Yep, okay. And then this light is on. I'm gonna I'm gonna test this just to, I don't know if I've ever used it. So that light is on, but I think, and then there's a switch right there, it says battery on, but I don't know if it heats up until you actually squeeze the trigger. Maybe, I mean it should, the trigger should just slide the glue forward, right? I'll, uh, I'll let it warm up and show you guys how it works if I can figure it out. Okay. I'm going to clean this off with some alcohol, give it the best fighting chance, but my assumption is that I'm going to have to use the hole underneath and take like a rod or something and pound it out, but we'll see. Maybe I'll be surprised. All right. In your minds, uh... What odds do you give this of working? You guys that pulled dents out and know how hard these creases are to get out. I've seen, there's some amazing, if you've never seen PDR, um, check it out. There's some YouTube channels where they'll have like this times like a hundred, like a whole corner's like caved in. And they actually, there's guys that are good enough to using like tools, like what I have here, only like really, really good professional tools they get it to where you can't even tell it ever got hit. Uh, like even, I don't know how the paint doesn't crack. I mean, they heat it up with a, they do heat the paint up with a heat gun and massage the metal and stuff, but it is, it will blow you away if you've never seen it. The first time I saw it, I was like, there is no way. Um, okay, let's see. This thing ready? Yep. Whoop, okay. I am going to, let's see. Probably try one of these longer. I got one. Are these all the same? Guess we could just try a smooth one first. 
And then maybe try that one. Okay. it up a little bit to clear the thing. I wonder if this would have worked. Oh yeah. So I guess it does. So I wonder how quick that wears your battery down. Probably pretty damn fast. Let's see what we're at here. We're at two bars. So um, I can only imagine any kind of heating element takes a lot of energy. So we'll see if this kills my battery just sitting there. But yeah, if you do squeeze it, it does come out. So that means it's heating all the time. But I could be wrong, it might be real efficient. Who knows? I'm gonna try to find some other tabs that I got like a whole bag of them here. Looking for like oval shaped ones. Maybe some of those. There's a rectangular one there. That one might be able to. Oh, let's we'll play with them. Ooh, I kind of like this one. Even the bag's cheap. Check that out. It's a little wider. That might... might try that. Okay, that should be long enough. So, we'll try this guy first. Gonna pull it right toward the camera. So, okay, you guys got your bets locked in. Ready? <laughs> uh, you can see it actually did uh, where I where I had paint left. It actually cleaned it, cleaned it all out. So, and then you're supposed to use. Like 95%. Let me show you. I think I have it here. Yeah, I stole it for something else, but this is a little bottle that comes with the kit. And you put your own alcohol in it. And you spray it as you're removing it, and it comes right off. Okay, let's try. Let's try this guy. And then we could even try the red glue, I guess. I mean, this dent is coming out. We're just experimenting right now. We'll get it out one way or the other. Okay, here's attempt number two with a slightly different uh, uh, tab on it. Ready? <laughs> So the glue's still getting that got some rust out, it looks like. But not, not pulling the dent out. Let me spray some schmutz on here. Comes right out with the schmutz. Um okay. I'm gonna try this one. It's pretty big. And we'll try it. Put a lot of glue on. I'm not gonna use it for anything else, right? Oh man, that gets it really hot. I've never thought of it before, but I wonder if the heat in the glue actually, you know, heats up the the metal and if that actually helps it a little bit. Um, I don't know. The last time I asked this question was February 1st. I think it was my birthday, but I'm still trying to figure out what this is. If we have any newcomers that weren't around last time I asked, does anybody know what this would be? It's only on the passenger side. It does have a bulb in it. 
Um, I can't remember if the wiring actually goes to anything, but does anybody know why someone would, what the purpose of this would be? Because I have no clue, and nobody so far in the comments has been able to tell me what they thought that was. Okay, I think it's been long enough. Let's see. Still hot. Cool on the outside. I think you're supposed to give it about two minutes, and I probably have. Okay, ready? I think this time I'm actually going to put some in there. Try to fill in that little valley. And completely blob this on. Okay, that's pretty darn thick. Look at that. Oh, that's hot but that should be enough okay <laughs> dang all right I think I'm done screwing around Oh, come on. I can just access it from right there? I thought that was below the the damn fender. <laughs> I feel really stupid. Okay, we're going to pretend like we couldn't get to it from there. Hopefully you guys can see it. Alright, so I have this long pry bar that I'm going to smack with a hammer. Come inside here and we'll see. I just wanted to show you guys, this has been on for, oh, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. And it had two bars, yeah, and it still has two bars. So I guess it doesn't really use that much energy. I'll have to just show you 
like this. It's basically got the right shape. So, I know it's hard to tell on camera. But it's basically good enough to uh, add some stuff to. I hate just using Bondo, so I always use kitty hair first because it's much, much stronger um, and then won't crack over time. And then only use Bondo for like, like a glazing putty. I forgot to start the video, I'm just standing. I was standing on the inside too, because I we gotta get that good. Stuff kinda just fills in your sandpaper. Unfortunately. Pretty good. Um, I don't know if you can see, but it's pretty flat right there. You got that flat part, and then the whole thing kind of curves around. The top kind of <laughs> comes down and spreads out, and the bottom kind of spreads up. That's a terrible spot for a dent, but um, let me look at the other side. Yeah, there should be a line going across and around, so I guess I need to mimic that. Damn. Give me a few minutes. So this was down to about like right here and I filled it all the way up with 70%. I think I had 95% in here. Um, let's see if it was flammable. Just lighting my thumb on fire. There's wind. blowing it out weird okay so there must have been 95 still in the tube because now it's not even uh, it's kind of flammable there goes my hair not nearly as flammable though all right guys as you can see it's basically dark I was on the phone with my mom and then my neighbor came over and we were talking for a little bit but I was somewhat working while we were shooting the Crap, and uh, that's not, that's bare metal right there where it looks like it's oh, a lump or whatever, that's just bare metal. But I basically got the body line good, but there's some pits, you know, so that's where you put your Bondo in. So this is all really strong because it's got the fibers in it and everything. Um, and then I've only done one little swipe on the inside and kind of sanded it, but there's a couple. I'll probably go over one more time. I don't know. Anyways, it should be 
It's hard with the light to tell, but it it should be good once it once I paint it. I mean, I'm, I gotta paint the whole inside of the engine bay anyway, so should be good though, and that'll be good. It matches the, that side at least. So, all right, guys. Well, sorry, it's dark. Um, and my roommate just came home. She got, I guess, our cat bit her this morning. Her hand is swollen up like double its normal size. So, I don't know if uh, she's gonna go to the emergency room or, or what's going on. But um, if that doesn't happen, I will try to edit this tonight and see how much footage I got. If there's enough, I'll. This will be kind of just a goofy video. I guess I didn't really do a whole lot. But you guys are probably used to that. Hopefully it'll be entertaining at least. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, we'll see you very soon. Take care.